How's your New Year going? While New Year's Eve and the next day are traditionally thought of as that thin slice of the calendar where we review the recent past and promise ourselves to make adjustments, by this time of January, usually reality has begun to set in. Last year I lost some good friends and new souls came aboard to take their places. I have a good measure of that based on the number of adorable little smocks Margaret makes for all the newborns that pop into our lives. And last year seemed a bumper crop. I saw new places. And I did new things. I was fortunate to compete a normal schedule of the rally calendar. And I played a record amount of golf, for me, with great friends, clients, and charities, all the way into late December. My feisty 91-year-old mom defied the odds again with an episode this fall and continues to challenge us and herself on a daily basis. For all these and many more, I consider myself to be truly blessed. All this adds up to make it easy for me to choose to be a very happy individual. I look forward to increased levels of happiness in 2016. And some things didn't go so well. I mentioned I lost some dear friends. That's always difficult. Our rally car was totaled in the final round of the rally season. My golf handicap did not dip as low as I would have liked, in spite of the increased number of rounds I played last year. I have myriad unmet expectations from 2015, such as life. Good happens and sh stuff happens. When I was younger, I could habitually obsess about the stuff. Why didn't I land that sail, hit that putt, win that racing stage? How could Harry die on me? He's so young. I took all these little setbacks in my life personally. How could I be so unlucky? Two things have evolved as I've aged. First, I'm learning that obsessing about the blessings is more productive in my life than obsessing about the curses. I operate better, and it's easier to choose happy over other possible reactions. And second, now I understand that unmet expectations were lessons. Adventures put in my path to teach me to let go and enjoy the ride. I've heard life described as a pinball machine. You're launched into the field and flip the levers as best you can to keep the ball in play, bells ringing, lights flashing at the higher levels. Every once in a while, nothing you do can prevent the ball from plummeting straight toward the bottom. Still, there are those two levers right at the bottom, giving lasting encouragement to try and relaunch. How effectively I use those last ditch levers, it's occurred to me as a function of how happy I am at the time. And how happy I am at the time is a function of what I choose to be focusing on that's going on in my life. The odds of relaunching successfully go way up when I'm obsessing about the good. My hopes for you are that this point in January, your ball is already staying up in your pinball machine and that you realize sometimes the ball just plummets and sometimes for no apparent reason. It's a part of the game. I'd hope you'd learn from it and choose to be happy and flip those bottom levers and stay in the game. 2016 will be the best year ever. It's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.